Hello, my name is Nahadir Hanani and I am from SNK Subang. I am 16 years old and I want to be a fashion designer. Could you tell me more about yourself and how you started the Batik Boutique? Hello, I'm Amy Blair. I'm the founder and CEO of Batik Boutique. And I started Batik Boutique about 10 years ago because I was working in tourism and I was realizing that I wanted to create a product of Malaysian Batik. And then I met a group of women who needed to earn extra income and they had basic sewing skills. So I combined the two together and created this brand called Batik Boutique. So now we have three retail outlets. We sell products online and also to corporates all around the world. Wow, amazing! So my next question is, what skills are needed to become a successful fashion designer? That's a good question. To become a successful fashion designer, I think after you finish your studies, you should continue in a college or university. There are courses actually in fashion design that you could take. Um, in addition to studying, for me, I think it's really important to have a mentor or like a guru who you can learn under because fashion design is very technical and it's very visual. So it's very good to learn from someone who's expert in addition to the theory of the study. So I would recommend having internships, working in companies already doing design and learning from others. Can I ask, what is your biggest challenge in your work? As a fashion designer, I think there are many challenges. I think the biggest challenge is taking your design and your concept in your head from your sketches or even digital to actually have it go through production and be sold. Because often as a designer, we have a concept or a way we want something to be. For example, if you uh, have a baju mm -hmm. and there's a certain button that you want to use, maybe you go to the supplier and get the buttons but now you want to make 20 of those shirts because you want to sell them in a boutique or online or, or in another company. Maybe you go back to the supplier and suddenly there's no buttons. And then you have to rethink, how, how can I change this? Then you have issues like quality control because everything you sew and everything you make needs to be consistent if you want to sell it to a customer. So you have to do sizing, you have to do um, quality control, you have to find supplies being consistent and sometimes as a designer with a concept or idea in our head, it can be challenging when you face obstacles along the way. And you have to adjust your design or find other you know, resources to create the product that you're interested in. So it can be quite challenging to bring the concept and our idea to become an actual product. Thank you for sharing. What is your advice for me and other students who wants to become a fashion designer? I think at your age, the most important thing is to study hard in school, to keep trying. I also encourage you to sketch, to put your ideas down on paper and start learning. There's many tools even on the internet that you can learn about design because nowadays you need to be able to take your sketch and make it digital. So practice with that, put your ideas down, follow other brands that you're interested in, learn from colors, research styles, and then try to go to a college or university program and, and take a course that teaches you the technical skills and learn from others. What I have learned today is to be more creative, think more critically, be more innovative, and keep practicing sketching to become a good fashion designer.